Hello, my name is Jacob Jackson, and today I just wanted to share something that has been on my heart. The passage I will be reading from is Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. It reads, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Paul is writing this to the people of Philippi from prison because, uh, because during this time he has been imprisoned for teaching about the gospel of Christ. Even during this time, he, call, he calls the people of Philippi to rejoice in the Lord and to go to the Lord with prayer. And I know during this time of quarantine to where people may feel imprisoned in their houses because they're not able to experience life as they usually have been. But I just call everybody today to just know that the Lord is in control and the Lord has a plan during this time of uncertainty. I also challenge everybody to just find the time and the day to go to the Lord in prayer, uh, whether it's to give Thanks to the Lord for every something he's provided you with or to pray to the Lord for peace. Thank you and God bless. Good morning. Today is Monday, May 11th. We do not have any FRA birthdays today. So, yeah, um, today is AAC day. We start with sixth and with fourth and there is no um, and there's no fifth period today. Um, it is a four day on the enrichment schedule. Um, so guys, we're going to clean out our lockers. Uh, there are two days, uh, designed for each grade level. So on next Monday, um, we, uh, at five or if sixth grade, we'll, we'll have a time, a designated time from eight to 10. And then eighth grade, we'll have a designated time from 10 to 12. And, uh, Tuesday of next week, um, uh, there will be a designated a designated time for fifth grade from um, from eight to ten on Tuesday, uh, and then a, um, and then ten to twelve on Tuesday for seventh grade. So yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I love you. Peace. Hey, good morning, middle school. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Hey, uh, thanks, Jacob. That was an awesome message. Um, always good to hear our former middle schoolers uh, share with us during convocation. I love the word. Um, even in the midst of, of struggle and, and trial, uh, that God is in control. Um, it's a message that um, we've probably heard it several times through different perspectives, but um, it always rings true. Um, so I really appreciate uh, Jacob taking his time to share with us this morning. Hope all you are well and uh, just enjoyed uh, a great Mother's Day weekend. Uh, I know we did here in the Harris household. It was a gorgeous weekend, quite the contrast to the weekend before uh, when storms kind of swept through and now, there was a lot of damage and power outage. So here we are. This is the last week of school, your last week of classes. Um, let's make sure we're giving it our best every day. Um, go through the checklist in your mind. What are the things that you have yet to accomplish, um, whether it's an assessment or a project that's due? Um, how can you leave your best um, on the table here at, in, the, in the final days of the school year? Go through the checklist of the things that you still have outstanding. What, what, what work do I need to complete? Uh, and turn in so that I'm ready to to put a bow on this school year and feel really a sense of accomplishment, a sense of pride when when I'm done. Um, we're gonna honor you all, um, uh, several of you, many of you, uh, in our academic award ceremony uh, next week. Uh, it'll be pre-recorded, um, but we'll send out some links and some acknowledgments to our whole school community for all of those award winners. Um, you'll you'll be able to come up uh, to school and pick up your yearbooks in a, uh, in several days about a week from today, actually. Um, and so we hope you take the opportunity to do that and wave goodbye and uh, as you start your summer vacations, um, whatever that looks like this year. <laughs> and remember that you are loved and there's nothing you can do about it. Let's make it a great day, guys.